the referees wish Yabaro from Somalia is taking charge of this game and is going to be assisted by first assistant referee Hassan Egoya seen from Djibouti, Hamis Changwal of Tanzania and Gavis Munyaziza. No holds bad action expected here in the group of death. As you can see there, Jamal Muhammad, a familiar figure in Eastern Central Africa. That's Kina Firi, was an uncompromising central defender in his time as a coach. He's come here to win the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup. The two teams taking their positions on the field. Kenya coming into this tournament with a new coach, Francis Kimanzi. Ready to lead, that's Francis Kimanzi. He's also a coach in the Kenyan Premier League. Francis Kimanzi, highly respected coach in the Kenyan Premier League. In very pensive mood, wondering whether he can help his country end a long wait for the Sikafa Senior Challenge Cup title. That's Bob Mogalia, very dangerous striker from the Kenyan Premier League, nicknamed the Sweet Potato. An amazing nickname to have for a front runner. Kevin Kimani, another very useful player. And Gilbert, you see all of these players in the Kenya Premier League week in, week out. Are they good enough to beat Malawi's Flames? Well, Francis Kimani, uh, Kimanzi has brought in a very, very, very highly technical side with young players, very experienced in the Kenya Premier League, playing against uh, Malawi national team that has a very, very experienced coach in uh, Kinafiri, who is also an ex-international. And uh, the main undoing about the Malawi national team is that their main striker, Ismail Tindwa, who has scored 17 goals in 22 games, is not there at this particular point. So referee, Wish Yabaro getting us underway. Malawi getting us underway in our second installment of complete football Nirvana coming out of the national stadium in Dar es Salaam. Malawi having a knockabout in central defense. Ball played back, the central defense. Malawi, patient build up play. Gilbert, what do you expect in this game? Well, it's going to be a cracker. In the last edition of this particular tournament, Malawi actually beat uh, Kenya three goals to two when Ghost Mule was still the, the national team coach uh, at this particular stage. And uh, owing to the fact that uh, Malawi is also a very experienced side, having won this uh, tournament three times, and Kenya having won this uh, tournament five times, these are two perennial rivals, and definitely with two constructing, uh, const uh, contrasting play, I want to believe that it's going to be... Uh, a good match to watch this afternoon. Kenya. The ball being played back to Dennis Adiembo. Kenya having a kick about in their central defense. No hurry. Bell been playing long. Looking for Bob Mugalia. Kenya, big, strong central defenders. Starting the game here for them. James Sangala. Pasco Ocheng. Pasco Ocheng in no hurry. Malawi's Flames. Trying to win position. Jamal Mohamed throwing himself about in the center of the pack. Malawi winning back position, but the Harambe stars building again through Jamal Mohammed. Looking for Paul Wery on the left hand side. Paul Wery has slipped, and it's a goal kick to be taken by Charles Sweeney, the goalkeeper. Very calm, very calm start for the stars here. Well, it's a calm start, knowing very well that they don't want to uh, move many people forward. 
playing cautiously in the mid in, in midfield and wanting to release the first striker Paul Were on the outside. Remember, Paul Were has been warming the bench at uh, Tasca, uh, one of the teams that is actually won the Kenya Premier League uh, last week. And uh, Francis Kimanzi has brought in because of his pace in order to be able to operate on the left hand side. Pascal Cheng, the skipper, has seen so much of the ball in the opening exchange here. Jamal Muhammad. Kenya in no hurry whatsoever. They are happy to knock the ball around. Jamal Muhammad. Jamal Muhammad, good dribbling skills. Passes the ball to the right hand side and is now looking for Bob Mugalia. But the Malawi Flames will clear. Powere looking for position, battling for position, winning it and then losing it. And now Malawi can clear through Steve Chagoma. Malawi building through the right hand side. Chagoma has been dispossessed and the ball is being played back to Pascal Cheng, the Kenyan keeper. Kenya very patient in their build up. They have very big central defenders, six foot four, six foot five. Malawi building up through Chagoma. Jamal Mohammed, the ball breaks into the penalty box and Malawi making a move there. It's been blocked by Pascal Chain. Well, Malawi making their intentions felt. They are knowing very well that an, an early goal will definitely settle their nerves as they progress in this particular game. Kenya being a strong opposition, Malawi would definitely want to put a mark in these early, early proceedings. John Banda winning the corner kick and Malawi are still asking questions, breaking into the penalty box. And it's a very dangerous cross, but it's been overheat and Kenya can break. Malawi winning back the ball. Bob Mugalia, he doesn't want to find himself defending, and the ball has gone out. Mugalia, is, a lot is expected of him. Malawi taking the free kick there through Emmanuel Zoya. Emmanuel Zoya throws it backwards, and the ball is being played looking for Mugalia once again. Jamal Mohammed has been throwing himself about. Kevin Kimani looking for Jamal Mohammed now. Jamal Mohammed with the ball. Never in a hurry. Ball playing creative midfielder, Jamal Mohammed. Kevin Kimani, he cannot keep it in play. And it's a goal kick. Kevin Kimani, very good pass. Very good vision. A lot is expected of him today. Steve Chagoma will start for Malawi. Ball being played long by Malawi's Flames. But it's been hit high into the air. The ball is there to be won. Pasco Chen clears. Cleared once again by Malawi. The ball spending so much time in the air. Powere. Powere, good dribble. Ball goes straight to the goalkeeper, Charles Sweeney. Charles Sweeney calling for Khan. Any controversial team selections there, Gilbert, who do you have liked to see that is not on the field? Well, one player that I was actually talking about from Malawi. Uh, Ismail Tindwa, who has actually scored 17 goals in 22 games in their in the, in their Premier League, actually playing for EPAC, has actually remained stayed behind because of his exams. Is actually sitting for a business a diploma uh, in their capital in Malawi. All right. Being from Nairobi, I would have expected you to talk about uh, somebody from Kenya, but uh, that's it. Ismail Tindwa, with the new shoes. Good, good pass here down the right hand side from the Flames. Being played into the middle of the pack. Hesitation. Play to the left hand side. The Flames building. Bringing in the left back. But it's been blocked by Kevin Kimani. It's gone out. Duncan O'Cheng. 
can reveal. That's Kevin Kibani in your picture. He's known for his creative endeavor in the center of the park. Well, Alan, if, uh, the question that you asked me, uh, this particular tournament is actually for players who are home-based, but we would have definitely wanted to bring in our top, top players like Den Denis Oliech, uh, who's playing in Auxerre in, uh, in France, and also our most instrumental midfielder, Bagdor and Mariga. But uh, Kimanzi has chosen this squad in order to be able to look at uh, the number, the kind of players that he has, and for moving forward in uh, his qualification to the World Cup. High put there in the center of the pack. It's a free kick. That's too high from Chagoma. Denis Odiambo winning that one. Plays it back to his keeper, Pasco Ocheng. Pasco Ocheng happy to play with Brian Mandela. Right, once again, Jamal Mohammed. Jamal Mohammed beginning with the ball comes here uh, to Diambo. Uh, Diambo. Once again, Jamal Mohammed. Kenya having a kick about Titus Mulama. Titus Mulama. Titus Mulama. The ball now comes in to the Malawi Flames. Jamal Mohammed. Looking for Bob Mugalia. Bob Mugalia battling for possession. And he wins a corner kick. Bob Mugalia is a player you know very well. Do you think he can make a difference at this tournament? Well, Bob Mugalia is known for his electric pace and very, very skillful striker with very, very powerful shots. Definitely, if uh, they don't watch him in this particular game, he might uh, do disaster for this Malawian side. So that's Were, Paul Were, Titus Mulama to take the corner kick. Mulama's in swinger, easily dealt with there by Chas Sweeney. The ball, though, to Jamal Mohammed. Jamal Mohammed playing it back into the penalty box, and it's it's offside. It's offside there by Hamis Chengwala, the second assistant referee. Well, that is a very good call by the referee there. Bob Mugalia just a little bit ahead of the last man in the line of defense on the Malawian side. Well, I thought that the right back here, Steven Chagoma, was playing him on. Chagoma to begin play there. Confrontation there between Denis Odiambo and the flying right back. Jamal Mohammed seeing a lot of the ball. Paul Were. Paul Were backwards. Titus Mulama, Titus Mulama, throwing himself about in the center of the pack. Back to goalkeeper, Duncan O'Shane. James Situma. Jamal Mohammed seeing so much of the ball earlier on here. Kevin Kibani. Kevin Kibani to Jamal Mohammed. Jamal Mohammed looking for Kevin Kibani. Kevin Kibani, can he keep it in play? No, he cannot keep in play. Throw in for the Malawi Flames. I think it's a fair assessment to say that the Harambe Stars have been quicker out of the blocks. Well, they know very well that. Uh they are playing in a group of death and would want to make a statement as early as this. Knowing also the weather is also against them at 32 degrees is extremely high. They arrived into this country late yesterday and uh, early, early goals for Rambe Stars would put them in a driving seat in this particular game. Malawi having a kick about, having a fill of the ball. Powerful clearance there. And Jamal Mohammed will emerge with position. Jamal Mohammed looking for Paul Were. Paul Were, dribbling skills, step over, bust into the penalty box. It's a corner kick. Paul Were, good skills, good fit. The Tusker forward. 
Well, Kimanzi has had a lot of faith in that uh, young man there who plays in the left wing of uh, the Tasca team. Uh, he played extremely well when Kenya beat uh, Seychelles in the African qualifying uh, tournament, and uh, he's definitely going to be instrumental on the left hand side. Goalkeeper Chaz Sweeney organizing his defense for the Flames. And uh, the Femmes clear that out. Comes to Titus Mulama. Titus Mulama back into the penalty box. The ball does come back here right again to... And Titus Mulama! Titus Mulama! Titus Mulama's connection has been cleared. But the Harambe Stars are piling on the pressure earlier on here. The Malawi Flames, very slow to settle into their stride. Remember, you can have both English and Swahili commentary here on the World of Champions. All you have to do is go to your language option on your decoder and uh, choose channel one for English and channel two for, Swa for Swahili. Bob Mogalia goes out for the throw in. Kevin Kibani will take. Kevin Kibani, flying winger, leaves the ball to Okoth. Collins of Koth. Long, long cross there goes out of play. Kenya dominating the opening exchanges here. 57% possession, 43% there for Malawi. And uh, what are the implications? Well, Kenya have had most of the run. They've made more shots at 54% uh, uh, Malawi, 46% possession. They've actually had more shots at goal than Malawi at this point. Kenya, very quickly out of the blocks, in very pensive mode, Francis Kimanzi, the Kenya national team coach, very young for manager, uh, you'd never believe he's having his second bite at the national team cherry. Well, one of the most qualified coaches in, uh, I would say, in this part of Eastern Central Africa with the UEFA A license, Kimanzi likes his building his, uh, his play from, from, uh, from the back slowly, going through the midfield and wanting your opponents to come towards, towards his team and then making the break because he has very, very fast players in Kimani on the right and Paul Were on the outside left. Francis Kimani, newly wet. Chaz Kimanzi has just had a bright as Paul Were chases and fails to keep the ball into play. Pesi winger, Paul Were, very good left foot, throwing himself about in the alley exchanges. Malawi building through their left back. Well, talking to, Manzi, to Kimanzi earlier, he said that he's, this is actually part of his honeymoon, and knowing very well that he's just uh, a wedded uh, new bride, he also wants to dedicate this particular game to the family. That is very good uh, uh, family manship from the coach. Of course, the crowning moment for him would be if he can help Kenya win the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup. Kenya were among the three countries that played in the very first Sekapa Senior Challenge Cup in 1973. Well, one of his priorities is actually uh, to bring, uh, to take this trophy to, to, to back to Kenya, knowing very well that uh, he actually failed to do that by uh, being beaten in the finals uh, when he played in the last uh, edition in Uganda. So he wants to go a notch higher by actually presenting this country, I mean, sorry, Kenya with, the, with this trophy. That's right. Very ambitious young man, Francis Kimanzi. Jamal Muhammad in midfield plays it to Titus Mulama. Titus Mulama playing it to Pasco Cheng. Pa Pasco Cheng brings in Denis Sotiambo. Denis Sotiambo to Paul Weri. Denis Sotiambo once again into the center of the pack there. Ball looking there for Jamal Muhammad. Pulling the court, busting through the center of the pack. Malawi's flames can clear. Kenya's Rambe Stars seem to have the physical edge in this game. Seem to have more hunger. Bob Mugalia, you just saw there. Winning position. Titus Mulama. Cultured left foot. Looking for Paul Were, But the ball goes out for throwing. Well, this is a very young side uh, that Kibanzi has brought into, into play here. 
basically these players are around 20, 21 years old, and he's actually blending the youth with the, the experienced uh, players like uh, Titus Mulama and Pascal Chen in the defense. They've actually brought in a lot of life in, uh, in terms of uh, their technical display, I mean the tactical display and the technical capabilities in this particular game. Jamal Mohammed, Titus Mulama, having a knockabout in the center of the park. Very good position football from the Kenya Harambe Stars. They are aging it in, a, in position terms and in chances created terms. Bob Mugalia playing it back to Jamal Mohammed. Up to the right hand side. And uh, Bo Situma, Situma to Pasco Osheng. Bob Mugalia has done very well in the Kenya Premier League and he's earned himself a right to trials in France. Goalkeeper Duncan Ocheng can keep the ball. Duncan Ocheng, confident young man, six foot two, six foot three, very much like the Kenyan back five. Kevin Kimani demanding for the ball. Boy is knocked back into play. Malawi Flames. Once again, the Harambe Stars can emerge with position. Harambe Stars throwing themselves about. Collins and Koth in the center of the pack is doing very well. Well, Alan, Malawi has not stamped the authority in this particular game. They're actually holding back, hoping that the Kenyan uh, defense would uh, make a slight slight mistake for them to be able to have an opportunity to make inroads but uh, the Kenyans midfield has been very very compact and uh, they are actually on top of this game at this point that's right very quickly out of the blocks there Kenya's Harambe stars actually from the opening X years here you can never tell that Malawi is the second highest ranked team in the FIFA Coca-Cola rank rankings at the Sikafa Challenge Cup here in Dar es Salaam. Zimbabwe, the highest ranked team in this tournament, 70th in the world, followed by Malawi at 87. Kenya at 133 is a whole of 46 places behind Malawi in the FIFA rankings. But from the opening 20 minutes here, you can never tell that. Uh, maybe there's something wrong with the FIFA rankings. Well, as I've told you that uh, the Malawi coach Kinafiri is also an ex-international. He knows very, very much about uh, the African football. And at this point in time, he's only taking his time. He's asked his players to slow down, learn what exactly Kenyans are trying to do, and probably start making an impact in the second quarter of this particular game. Mogalia making a dash into the penalty box. Mogalia goes out. Bob Mogalia, the man, that's the man who is headed for France for trials. Uh, Bob Mogalia, a lot is expected of him at this tournament. Well, that is a piece of skill there by Mogalia. Wanted to kick the ball over. He's actually won a corner kick for the Harambe Stars. Kenya, two corners. Malawi, one. Corner kick quickly taken. Bo comes in here. Titus Mulama. But Malawi can break. Malawi. Looking to break very quickly, but very good challenge, recovery challenge there. And Paul Ware can start another move. Denis Odiambo. Crossfield pass. Going to the right back there. And now Titus Mulama. Kenya are really dominating the opening exchanges here. Denis Odiambo. The overlapping left back. Looking for Kevin Kimani. Kevin Kimani heads it into the penalty area. And it's a free kick to the Malawi Flames. Well, from the onset, Alan, it is very, very evident that uh, there are two contrasting teams here, one that is playing very physical football and another one that is playing uh, uh, more intricate passes. Malawi 
more of the physical side and Kenya more of a more official uh, ball playing side. That is an irony because in the physical stacks, Kenya is the very much the bigger team. I've counted at least five players who are over six foot tall. Most of the defenders, Park Sko Cheng, Dennis Odiambo, the goalkeeper, Duncan Cheng, James Situma, uh, as well as uh, Brian Mandela, are all very, very big men. In terms of mass here, Alan, I'm, I mean, the Malawians look to be a little bit more physical than the Kenyan side. Cross coming into the penalty box area, and that will be easy pickings for the goalkeeper. Duncan O'Shane. Duncan O'Shane looking for Bob Mugalia. Bob Mugalia showing what he can do. Remember, footage from this tournament can be available to the scouts, international scouts looking for talent around here. And Bob Mugalia is one of the strikers hoping to impress. Kenya has not won the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup since 2002. As you can see them build there through Kevin Kimani. Kevin Kimani to Chazokoth. Once again, Je Jamal Muhammad, Kevin, and the goalkeeper, Chaz Swede, saves. Very good self-expression there from Kenya's Harambe stars. Kevin Kimani, no conviction on his shot. Chaz Swede picking that one up. But Kenya making the early running. Well, Kimani, they're having scored 11 goals uh, in the Kenya Premier League as a midfielder with a very good uh, try there, uh, but uh, did lack precision at that particular instance. That's right. Kenya dictating the play. Malawi can rebuild. Malawi Flames just missing out on qualification for the Africa Cup of Nations on the very final day. Malawi breaking into the penalty box. Move on the left-hand side, played into the box there. Ball bubbling into the penalty area, and it's 1-0 to Malawi. 1-0 to Malawi, and the goal has been scored by Pinirani. Pinirani Makupe, and the fans are celebrating. It's actually John Banda in acres of space on the left-hand side when the ball came to him, and he made no mistake. John Banda has put Malawi's flames 1-0 up. They've been on the rack for the opening 25 minutes, but they've replied quite emphatically. Well, that was very, very poor uh, tactical awareness by Dennis Odiambo. Very poor tactical application by Dennis Odiambo in the left full-back position for Kenya, leaving Pirani Makupe alone in that box for a very, very, very easy tap-in into that box for that goal and uh, it's one nil there for Malawi's flames Kenya can rebuild Kenya caught cold Dennis Odiambo James Ituma James Tuma, Titus Mulama. Titus Mulama has playmaking responsibilities, plays it long, looking for Mugalia. For Mugalia, Mugalia, Powere. Powere, then Sodiambo. That is the Malawian finds. Have crossed over the border from Lilongwe and Blantyre and are having fun here in the right line. Jamal Mohamed. Brian Mandela. Long ball looking for Kevin Kimani. Kevin Kimani loses out. Malawi can rebuild. Ball kicks out of play in sporting fashion. How have Kenya been caught cold here? Well, Alan, uh, this is not exactly what Coach Kimanzi wanted to see, especially in the first uh, 27 minutes of this game. That was a very, very poor tactical awareness by their fullback, Dennis Odiambo, there. They pulled the Kenyan defense to one side and saw a gapping hole on the opposite side where Makupo was standing and a good chip 
good finish by Malawi. That is not what Kimanzi wanted in this game. James Bander with an uncompromising tackle. James Situma, imposing presence in the central defense of Kenya's Harambe Stars. One of the defenders who have been called, called, called by that sucker punch. Going to the center of the pack. Going back to the left back there. James Sangala. Malawi can rebuild, but they lost possession. If one possession back again. Malawi coming into the element. Confidence doing them a world of good. In no hurry, the ball goes back to the sweeper. He plays with his central defender. Malawi having a kick about. They are leading by a goal to nil here against Kenya's Harambe Stars. Once again, James Band on the right-hand side crosses into the penalty box. The ball goes to the opposite side, and it arrives into the penalty box. Ochen can clear, and the ball now looking for Kimani. Kimani, the flying winger. Kimani plays it into the center of the pack, and he's won a free kick. The well, Malawians the, very tough in the tackle. Well, the Kenyans look rattled here. Boy into the penalty box. Kenya seeking a, a, an immediate reply. Titus Mulama to Powere. Powere's reactions are very poor. It's yet another corner kick for the Harambe Stars. The corner count is building, but the most important statistic is Malawi 1, Kenya 0. And this man, Charles Sweeney, will organize his defense once again. The big central defenders have come up front. Situma, as well as Ocheng. And Malawi concede another corner kick. This time to be taken by Titus Mulama. Brian Mandela, John Situma, and Pasco Ocheng are all towering central defenders. That's 4-1. The corner count is building up for the Harambe Stars. That's a sign of pressure. But is it good pressure? Titus Mulama will tell us. Jamal Muhammad wants it to be, it to be played to him short. But Titus Mulama thinks otherwise. Brings us in swerving corner kick. Contact made there by the goalkeeper, Charles Sweeney. And retrieving possession here is the captain, Pasco Cheng. To throw in for Kenya's Harambe Stars. Dennis Odiambo, the left back, will move over to take the throw in. Joseph Were, Paul Were will take it. It's a bad throw. Paul Were showing his inexperience. That's lost possession in a very crucial part of the uh, field and wish Yabaro was watching. Malawi fans, in good voice, have broken into song at the National Stadium here in Dar es Salaam. Brian Mandela, Situma, Ocheng. Ocheng, Situma. Kenya, unflustered by the fact that they're trailing by one goal to nil, 31 minutes into this game the 35th edition of the Sikafa Senior Challenge Cup. Kenya have not won the Challenge Cup in nine years. It's a bit of a regret that the team that was there at the very beginning have won only five titles. Uganda, their rivals, have won more than twice the number, 11 titles. Kenya like to think of themselves as the bigger brother. Bob Mogalia, intercepted by the well-organized Malawi Flames. Malawi seeking to break on the left hand side. John Sibanda. Ball played long. Looking for their own rushing striker. Goalkeeper Duncan Ocheng will collect.
Powere chasing possession and failing to reach it. Any changes or tactical initiative that the coach can take, Francis Kimanzi, a license, he has to prove it here that he's a superior tactician. Well, one thing that I know he would want to advise his players not to be in a hurry, maintain the same formation that they're playing, build patiently, and wait for those opportunities uh, to get those passing lanes in order to be able to make inroads in uh, that Malawi lineup defense. Malawi building through the left hand side, long ball played into the penalty box, straight to goalkeeper Duncan O'Shane. Duncan O'Shane holding on to position. Pasco Cheng. Pasco Cheng looking for Jamal Mohammed. Pasco Cheng once again to Jamal Mohammed. The team, the Harambe Stars, are following the coach's instructions. They are knocking the ball around. Situma to Ocheng. Ocheng to Mohammed. Jamal Mohammed. Jamal Mohammed, very much the directing intelligence, shares the responsibilities with Titus Mulama and Bob Mogalia has been appended at the center of the pack as a free kick to the Harambe Stars. Bob Mogalia fouls. Malawi has had six fouls to Kenya's one. That means Malawi is an uncompromising team. Kevin Kimani on the right hand side. Kevin Kimani with the cross, cleared. Good pressure on the ball there from Situma, but Malawi, once again in possession, are not in a hurry. They called, they called Kenya cold with a sucker punch. Kenya making the early running, but they were caught on the counter attack, and Malawi lead by a goal to nil. Well, Malawi is, is playing what we call low pressure. Staying back behind the ball about nine players and uh, inviting the Kenyan players to, to watch them. Wanting to beat the Kenyans on the break just like they did in that goal. Very good movement here down the left hand side. Malawi breaking into the penalty box and it's an offside decision. Referee Wish Yabaro in the right press at the right time. Apparently he's given a free kick to Malawi's flames. And the man throwing himself about is Emmanuel Siani. Yabaro, the referee from Somalia, has awarded a free kick in a very dangerous place to the Malawi flames. Goalkeeper, Duncan Ocheng organizing his wall. Yabaro. Yabaro wants the wall. 10 yards back. Kevin Kibani joining the wall. Quickly taken free kick. Very good interception there for the Harambe Stars. And they can break on the left hand side through Bob Mugalia. Poor execution of that free kick. Well, definitely poor execution for that, uh, of that free kick by the Malawian uh, striker there. Uh, in a very, very precarious position that was about 20 yards away from the goal. And those are instances where you need uh, people who really know Bob what they're Mugalia. supposed to do. Goalkeeper Charles Sweeney throwing his, himself about. Malawi in no hurry. They lead after 36 minutes here at the National Stadium. Malawi's flames. Called Kenya called. Ball played into the penalty area. A very good contest for possession. Situma. Jack and Ocheng. Dankano Cheng plays it short, looking for Titus Mulama. Titus Mulama 
looking for Pasco Cheng, the skipper. Jamal Muhammad. Jamal Muhammad looking for Odiambo. Odiambo has let the ball run out and it's a throw in to Malawi Flames. Malawi having a kick about in their central defense in no hurry whatsoever. They do lead by a goal to nil in the group of death. Played long. Odiambo with position. Once again to Titus Mulama. Titus Mulama looking for Bob Mugalia. Bob Mugalia brings Kevin Kibani into play. Rasping drive there. But it's out of play. And Charles Sweeney will start play again. Charles Kibari, Kevin Kibari rather. Well, that is a very good technical application there by the young boy Kimani, who has actually scored 11 goals in the Kenya Premier League, seven of them being on the set pieces. Titus Mulama. Titus Mulama. The boy is going out. The boy is going out too often. Perhaps the RMB stars panicking a bit. Paul Wery had a very good start, but he's a bit uh, quiet. Too many of the balls being passed to him are going out. Malawi can rebuild. The goal scorer. Once again, Kevin Kibani fighting Titus, Titus Mulama. Malawi once again rebuilding. Malawi, little shot. The goalkeeper Duncan Ocheng put his body behind the ball. Plays it long, looking for Mugalia. Straight back to a Malawi midfielder. Once again, Malawi building through the left-hand side. Cross coming into the penalty area. And the goal goalkeeper completely misses it. He'll say that he, he knew the flight of the ball. But he completely missed it. Malawi leading by a goal to nil in the group of death. In the earlier game, you saw the two teams playing out a 1-1 draw. It's going to be a very tricky game to a very tricky group to come out of. Jamal Muhammad. Jamal Muhammad. No look pass. And John Banda. John Banda emerging with position. Malawi moving. He's not, he's not moving freely. And Titus Mulama will emerge with the ball. Titus Mulama. Little chip to the left hand side. Looking for Jamal Muhammad. Jamal Muhammad. Jamal Muhammad. Looking for Bob Mugalia. But Charles Sweeney will collect. The Malawi fans are having fun. 